Hello everybody and welcome back to Mega Aquarium where we are kind of stuck around this kind of 3000 base prestige level. We've just unlocked a whole load of new stuff. A whole load of new stuff. Um, a whole load of stuff has grown. And I need to get myself about another 700 odd prestige which is probably going to be a couple more tanks oh maybe maybe the, the shark hat shelf will just just pivot to the post i don't know anything else that we can get for them coffee machine balloon shelf we've already got those you tank i'm not too worried about a large tunnel tank might be quite cool but mm. wow look at all these things a uv sterilizer massage chairs a t-shirt shelf Really big lights. Self-serve Froyo. Sounds good. OJ Squeezer. Definitely think that would be a thing they would like. Pop that in next to the drinks machines and stuff. like a slowly going up to be honest we're going to keep going with the feeding increases because i like to have my fish all fed every day just a you know just a thing i like to do feed all my fish each day never know when they're going to need it they're all coming up here now which is amazing so they've got 100 percent visibility on all the tanks which means that i can quite happily put some more tanks in along here i think and they probably would come and look at them uh, maybe a u-tank would be good but never mind I'll just carry on. So, I think another tunnel tank. I mean, I've got everything so far that I've researched is in the aquarium right now. So, it's only the things that I'm putting in and researching from new that are being done. Okay. Um... Ah, fish eating an enemy is done. Very nice. So that is a cold water thing. So I've got to be careful where I put that because it can eat big. It can eat fish unless the fish are quite big. But then the fish can possibly eat it. So let's get the hermit crab as well. Let's have a look at this then. So do you eat an enemies? No. Do you? No. Do you? You don't eat anything. Do you? No. So actually it would probably be fine in there because they're all like 10 and stuff like that. Let's have a look at the anemone itself and see if it's going to eat anything that's in here. I don't want it to, it to eat the fish. That's the next thing that might be a worry. So you will eat fish with size 2 or less and you will grow to size 6 after 3 days. So I would imagine that if you can grow from size What size are you? I don't really say. Oh, so it must be three already. And it will grow to six and it'll eat two. Probably be okay, I think, in here. It's gonna need some lights though. Get some lights on there. I think it needs lights of ten, probably. Yeah, I don't I don't even know that, but I imagine. Oh, you don't need lights? I thought all the corals needed lights. So I look here, it's all like, I need light, I need light. So actually, we don't need the lights at all. And sell those back. And that dude should be quite happy in there, apparently, with all the massive fish. 
Okay, let's keep going so that we can get some more stuff. I think they're liking the orange juice probably more than they're liking anything else. Oh, okay, so we're a little bit like getting a bit messy around here, so I think we need a bin. That's not going to help prestige at all, is it? Get a bin there so people can do that. Anybody? There's no broom in the aquarium. Well, that's slightly worrying. another broom then shall we pop it over there they can at least grab it it's maybe not the most efficient in the world but they can at least try and grab it if they need a spare broom someone's at someone's on top of it though there are a couple of things being dropped on the floor when they shouldn't be so a couple of bins around the place would help as well can always reach a bin. There you go. Put your coffee in the bin. That's right. Maybe another bin over by this bench here. I'm just putting bins anywhere where I can see rubbish on the floor. Because that probably means that they couldn't find somewhere to put it and they didn't want to, to walk that far. Self-serve froyo, here we go. Massage chair. This crab's about to be done as well, so. Fried egg jelly, it's like a jellyfish. Ooh, all sorts of really cool stuff. Very nice corals. Oh, we got the Starry Smooth Hound. Needs to be in a round tank. And it's cold water. So we're going to need a round cold water tank for this guy. Blue spotted ebony. Oh, sorry, Evan Tail Ray. Oh, man. Might need to repurpose one of my tanks or change it out for a Belfast tank. Gonna be a bit of a bit of a potch, but we can do it. The cold water coral as well. Need does need lighting. Need some big lights. So we're gonna need to to do those. The fried egg jelly would that would go in my tank for um, corals and stuff. I think cannot be housed with any non other inverts. Oh, okay, I don't think I have those. Copper band butterfly. High skill required. The wimp. Takes five. I'm just trying to work out that this is a wimp as well. Maybe I'll do the ray first then. Alright, let's get this froyo stand going. That looks nice. We're fast approaching the 4000 mark though, which is really cool. I do think I'm going to need another tank though. So what I'm going to do for this other tank, I'm actually going to move this one over here. I can have other warm water fish or, or cold water fish, whichever really. But I know I'm going to need a Belfast tank or at least a tunnel tank or something for the for the new shark, the smooth hound. So. I'm gonna like get a nice big Belfast tank in. It needs to fit in that. No, it doesn't need to fit in that space. I can move things around. Do we need a do we need a 200 space? 
175 we'll do 200 I think this one here is a, a 120 so it's going to be a big upgrade to that anyway so what's going to happen now oh, I'm going to need to open this up a bit as well I do like these little tanks on the side I think they're really nice so I'm going to keep those Gonna move this one over here. Gonna move most of the decorations of fish out of it as well. And then move this Belfast tank into its place. Okay, so there's a couple of things in the way. I'm gonna delete some of the walls. Move some of the dispensers. that tank over one move that wall okay it's quite a big tank here um gonna need to do some things some clever things with walls like you always have to do with these silly tanks you have to normally do something like this around it your friends over there you can go over there with your tank because that's technically your tank you need to move a little bit to get in line with your tank in fact, could, could even do this to make it a little bit neater is in fact in slightly the wrong place as well so let's just do that something's about to die why why are you about to die water temperature is too high oh okay that's fine if that's all it is we're good we're good now cool so i want a one of those dudes should actually be able to get up there to feed them now and then I'm going to move everything from this tank in here and then we're going to get the starry smooth hound to go into that Belfast tank I would like to also decorate around here as well told you it wouldn't be quick I was like, should I, should I carry on with this episode, or should I, should I uh, stop it? Blah 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 blah. And I was like, nah, it's not going to be quick to get this done, is it? So, nah, no way. Okay, so now all these guys are in here. Let's move all their decorations and stuff as well. Me as well. arrangement but it'll do for now anyway uh, let's move you over here It's gonna have some warm water stuff in it eventually, but for now I'm just gonna leave it. Do some more decorating. Let's get the harbour side paint in there. Paint you, paint you, paint you. Let's get the 
Drop a paint. Lovely, I could put put something nice in there as well, like a little place for them to sit or something. I could even put a, a corner tank in. I probably will move this all backwards a little bit as well. It's um, a bit more cramped than I would really like. I'll do for now. I don't know if I'm going to need two more tanks, but we'll see. Let's move this. Uh, let's just play it for a bit, and I'm going to move this around a bit. There's some really high skill feeding stuff that's going to need to happen soon, too. Up to 3,700, so that's really good. There's no reason to have this so small. Open that all up to a squarish sort of thing going on. I would actually like to open up the back of here as well a little bit. If I can. Oh, come on, I was in the middle of something there. Who always do this to me? I think I'm like a little corridor on the back here. So everything all kind of tie up together. I'll still probably put a staff door or something in, but... Yay! Massage chairs are unlocked! Large light, I think, next, because we might want to research some of that coral. So people are a bit like, this tank's really boring, but only for a bit. Another company waiting for things like this to be done and that hermit crab and stuff we'll need a power pump first and some filters and stuff so what fish do, do we not have yet um, not many of them that we don't have yet this shark You'll eat fish or crustaceans with size 4 or less. You will grow massive. Yeah, get in there. Enjoy. I'll put you a cave in. Maybe a pitted column and a rocky overhang. There you go. That's a nice space for you to be. Uh, let's get you a heater. Gonna actually need to be a mega heater, I think. Because the small heater only does 90. And then a double mega super pump. Plan for expansion, you know? I'm gonna put a staff door in, I think, so that they can actually get to the back of here. Well, that was the stupidest place ever to put that, wasn't it? That's better. Then we need supplement cabinet. A crab dispenser? Yes, it's crabs. And that should make things a little bit nicer. By like people wanting benches and stuff. I don't see a reason not to pop some around the back there. Ooh, no, there's supposed to be massage chairs up here. I don't like that. 
It'll make them go around there, won't it? And look at the shark. They really like all these toys and drinks things and stuff like that. Everything's properly connected. I get paranoid when I'm removing tanks around. This has happened before. Things haven't been connected properly. Okay, I want someone else that's good at feeding, if possible. Okay, if not, I'll just hire the rest of you anyway. We are nearly there. Oh, wow, so close. A couple more cool things in here, I reckon we'll do it. Can't be house with the body. I reckon you could go in with the shark, though. Depending. Get the starry smooth hounds. I've purposely done things to, to put the smooth hound in there. So, let's have a look at you. So, what do you eat? What do you do? You eat fish with size 4 or less, or crustaceans with size 4 or less. Those stingray things are, are massive compared to that, I think. Where are they? We have start at 8. I think you'll be alright for, for a minute in there. We are so close to winning! If we could just get a little bit more prestige. 20 more. Oh, it's going up, it's going up, it's going up, it's going up, come on! 10 more! We do, you know, we're not going to need the Starry Smooth Hound. Woohoo! Impressive work. Even with only a single animal of each species, you've managed to create an aquarium of high regard and even higher profits. Your next role is to take over the sizable Carbon City Aquarium, which is in dire need of upgrading. You can continue to build here at Le Dufont for as long as you want. This message will stay in your message log, accessible via the button in the bottom left until you're ready. When you're ready to move to Carbon City, let me know. So there we go. Apparently this one needs live lugworms. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna put its food in because you know what? I don't want to leave this aquarium with um, with no lugworms for my poor little my poor little stingray thing. You know, that'd be mean. So anyway, lovely aquarium this one. I really enjoy it. I'm gonna take you for a tour. Okay, first person tour. So firstly we've got uh, these guys in here. And my lionfish. A few assorted. I think they're some of the, the bullies, possibly. No, they're not. The bullies are over there. These are just the ones that were left over. We've got this one with a few of the other sort of leftover smaller fish. Active swimmer tank. Um, oh, where's that? Hang on. I'm lost. Active swimmer tank over here. With stingrays and sharks and really cool things. So it gets more cool as you go through, by the way. A big coral group. A coral group has always looked super impressive. And it's in there with a big old starfish. And uh, I did have another friend, I think. Oh, an eel. Yes, that's his other friend. We've got our lovely frozen yogurt stand over here. Self-serve. We've got a wolf fish and a cuttlefish and a lump fish in there. My oddballs. We've got a few things like a, a, a skate and another shark in here, leopard shark. Oh, actually, it might be the, the bull husk actually, sorry, not the leopard shark. And then the crustaceans that had to be put over here so that they wouldn't get eaten by stuff. My lobster and crab seem to be having a, a, you know, having a bit of a thing there. Someone there with a guidebook. And then finally we've got this last shark and uh, a nice cool stingray thing. And that is the aquarium. And some max class chairs at the end, just in case you got tired as you were going around. So that is the aquarium. I am really, really happy. That is only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 tanks. 10 tanks to, to do the level. So I really, really advocate small aquariums with minimal numbers of tanks. But anyway, that is it for this particular aquarium. So if you want to see me go to Carbon City and do the aquarium over there, 
then that will be next time so i hope you enjoyed the episode if you did then please do leave me a like below if you'd like to see me go to carbon city then please subscribe i will let you know when that video is out i hope to see you next time in the meantime though please look after yourselves and keep being awesome